Welcome back, Vladimir the Impeller here, or Politicized Gaming. We are back with episode 3 of Vladimir the Impeller and Banner Lord. In today's episode, our primary objectives are to get a elite army, as well as become a vassal of the Southern Empire. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're killing everybody. I'm killing everybody. Bro's taking us deep into Q's 8 territory as well. You gotta be kidding me. Resuming where we were last game, which was in Nero. There's already a tournament going on here. However, we're more focused on getting our military up. What I want to do for the military is get a bunch of legionaries and cataphracts. So we're going to be going to every village attached to a castle because that's where they have the cavalry units at. These ones specifically, they do get upgraded to cavalry later on. We are also fighting the Crusades because we are a mercenary company of the Southern Empire. Really, the only way to beat the Crusades, unless you're Sturgeons with a bunch of shields, is to counter them with even more cavalry. But you basically gotta fight fire with fire. Our wife has just given birth. We have an upgrade to Steward. We're gonna be putting that into wages right here. All right, there's our party maxed out. 82 units, that's pretty insane, actually. We will also need to buy horses, which is quite expensive, to upgrade those Vigla recruits. Reaching that point in the game where we're starting to one-hit people. That's beautiful. Oh, another thing I was trying to go for, it's not really a part of our main quest line, but I really need to start taking over some alleys here so we can get some roguery. Anyways, we did get a upgrade to throwing flexible fighter or hunter. Flexible fighter here is the obvious one, right? I believe the legionaries carry javelins, right? So yes, let's pick that up. I could have swore they did. Wait, did they not? I definitely could have swore the legionaries carry javelins, but maybe I'm thinking of a different troop. With that being said, though, I can go ahead and show what we're going to do after that. So we got to enter the arena and we have to talk to this guy these teachers who help people hone their skills and learn new habits can you help me find one yes this is for me and then we want to just click on control right there and throwing yes i'm sure now we can go back in here and reassign all of this so quick draw and hunter Ooh, a smith right here nice we just got a smither dude so if we ever need money later on in the game we, we know where to go to is he chasing me? He's chasing me. That's just a bit worrying. Uh-oh. 82 versus 68. However, they have cavalry. We don't, right? Dense shield wall is what we want. Also, we have a mountain right here. Very nice. And we have seven cavalry divisions. Uh, I'm gonna just wait to engage with. We actually gotta be a little bit more strategic about this one because dang crusades and their dang horses, mate. trying to retreat they're right to get away i don't have enough men hey oh my god that's such a bad way to start it we ain't getting no elite army fighting these dudes that's for sure we're gonna get beat every time bro's taking us deep into Ku's eight territory as well you gotta be kidding me southern empire is not winning this one I ain't even gonna say we escaped this time. All right, nice. More dudes. Are we back? I think we're back. One way to start the episode. I need to redeem myself. That was that was horrible. That was terrible. Where is Rajia at, by the way? Anira. Make me a vassal. Keep. There she is. Um, there's something I'd like to discuss. I want to pledge myself as a vassal. Yes. Thank you. Oh, we got special units as well. Nice, nice. We got some extra charm from that. We're going to go for meaningful favors. Oh, the Crusades want to peace? If we agree to pay 1k in tributes. We're about to start getting desperate for money, man. I'm not going to lie. So here's what we need to do. We need to sell these horses. Also, we lost connection to all of our companions. Let's recall all of these people. That's what I was looking for. A horse city. Pick up some chargers. All of them, actually. Ira is pregnant again. Let's participate in this siege. Do need some more XP, don't I? Or would it be better to raid some villages i'm actually thinking yeah i think we should do that instead all right this guy 54 ranged we're not attacking him send troops hopefully we don't lose too much oh this lot just stole some of my recruits did he lad here's a lord we're gonna attack him we outnumber him by 2x so it should be pretty easy I actually i want to get on foot for this i'm not gonna lie here let's get some hand-to-hand -hand combat action going on here yeah oh never mind it's a 4v1 where's the team at there's one of them yeah you better back off yeah there you go oh that guy has a nice sword anyways we won that nice you're my prisoner now 
Yeah, you know what? Nah, no mercy. After what we had to go through at the start of this game, nah. We're killing everybody. I'm killing everybody. Everybody's dying. Everybody's getting executed. Let's go for Fervent Attacker for the next leadership upgrade. Vote for the new owner of Thorio's Castle. They will give it to us, yes. Usually when you become a new vassal, they will give you a fief. So we are now a holder of Thorio's Castle. Very nice, boys. Are you kidding me? Wait, I'm faster, right? I'm faster. My settlement is besieged instantly. Bro, I ain't even gonna go defend that either. Still haven't gotten a roguery guy out of one of these towns. Guess it's time to go to the front lines because we ain't getting an upgraded army by not fighting nobody, right? Let's go for more social and more right. Oh, I should have actually, hold up. Let's reset that. Let's go for endurance, actually. Upgrade the writing skill. I can also have another party of troops. However, I don't have the money for that. So there's a guy we can chase down. Let's get him. Try to cut him off here. Yeah, we got him. There's a decent amount of troops in this guy's army as well, so... Should be a nice amount of XP. Oh, yeah, we took that down with minimum losses. Only two losses right there. That was amazing. You are my prisoner now. You know what that means. We're going to execute you. We're gonna kill everybody we come across. Everybody. You get captured by Vladimir the Impeller, you are going to get impelled. Upgrade to riding. Let's go for nomadic traditions. More upgrades. Nice. 20 troops can be upgraded. Vladimir the Impeller has gained the devious trait. Nah, it's Vladimir's comeback arc from that start right there. Gotta find some more lords from the Western Empire. Here's what we're gonna do, actually. We're gonna start raiding some villages. That's how we can increase our roguery. And if they actually fight back, we can get... We can kill them all and get even more experience. Yeah, yeah. So I shouldn't be raiding my own territory because I'm gonna own it one day and then I'm not gonna be able to recruit anybody from it. You know, hey... You gotta do what you gotta do for those skill points, right? So in the long run, this is probably a bad idea to raid Empire Culture Territory. Time to start raiding that village. That guy's camping right outside, is he? Can I possibly get this guy to not go in that town? Yes, there we go. Yeah, we can force him into that as well. Yes. Yeah, it's over for you, buddy. I think. Come on, can we get him? He's gonna get away. He's too insane. Well, I guess back to raiding then. There's our upgrade to roguery. We're going to do no rest for the wicked or faster raid speed. Oh, they want to piece us. Is that gonna pass? We received money. Our kingdom will receive 3,500. Hey, at least we got a castle out of that. There's a guy right there. Let's chase him. If I have to chase you across the map, I will. There we go. Once again, only have the cavalry charge. We win those anyway. That's fine. You're my prisoner now. Yep. We're executing that clan anyway. 32 upgrades. Very nice. You already know what time it is. Time for another execution. 15k for all of the stuff we have captured. See, this is why war is good, you know? Fills the pockets, right? Yeah. All right, so we are definitely getting an elite tier army. We're starting to get some cataphracts. We're starting to upgrade our recruits into legionaries. We're starting to win more fights against lords, which that's how you know you have an elite army. I'm about to just go to every single town on the map until we find some guy with roguery. Not gonna lie here. Also, we need to talk to six more nobles that know about Nearest Folly in order to get that one done. Hideout, we could do that. I'd rather rather keep that hideout there so it's a bit harder for the crusades to build up right we're pretty even on everything right now as for our skills nothing is overdone so i'm thinking even more roguery the shark yes we found our roguery guy all right so now what we do is we go back to anira and we have to capture an alley start our roguery skill form i like roguery a lot because look at this battle loot more you get more battle loot what does more battle loot mean it means more money you also can get some pretty neat skills out of this scarface and then the other one was partners in crime so if you find massive bandit stacks you can just instantly recruit them for free i think it's pretty strong it's pretty neat so now what we do is we take a walk around the town center find it out least those things marked in red there we go i'm just having a look do you mind i don't take orders from the likes of you and then they get really mad and then you kill them yeah that's how you capture an alley. Take over the alley, and then we do the shark as the head of the alley. Let's just put all of our recruits in there. Nice. Yeah, 10 points in roguery. That's insane. Do need some more war. What are we doing diplomacy-wise? No way we're going to declare war in the Kuzays. Okay. 
They went to attack the Asurai, and they also went to attack the Kazuits again. I definitely do not want to attack the Kazuits again, man. We got wrecked last time. What are, what, what, what are we thinking, bro? Why do we want to attack the Kazuits? More upgrades for our siblings here. Like I said, all endurance. Our siblings are going to be straight smithers. All right, so we're about to declare we're on the Asurai, so I'm going to go ahead and start moving over there. Kuzate's also 100%, so we got to be ready for them. We've had another kid. Oh, Caravan Ambush. Well, let's do that. All we have to do is protect this Caravan Raiders. 55. We want XP. There we go. There's our XP right there, oh dude. God. 55 and OKD ratio is actually crazy. 10 upgrades, nice. Oh, we're already done with the quest. All right, then. Well, let's do another one. I will escort the merchant caravan myself. Yes, we will. Really? The Crusades is what we decide on? And it's going to pass, isn't it? Oh, my gosh. Here we go again. Hey, redemption arc in the building. Come on. We have to redeem ourselves for what happened at the storm. 40 raiders. All right. We can take them on. Light work, no reaction, bro. We're getting a ton of loot out of this as well. I gotta start doing these more, man. Oh, the caravan's moving into Crusade territory. Uh-oh. 245 damage. That's insane. Those are crazy numbers, dude. Oh my gosh. What is happening over here? Let's engage this. Yeah. Oh, sh oh my gosh. There's so many of them. Jeez, bro. Ow. Wait, am I going to die here? 59 damage. That's brutal. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got taken out. And what do we do to prisoners? We kill them all. Especially with the Crusades. Any Crusade we find dead on sight. We're not sparing a single one of these dudes after what happened at the start. And we just got to balance Glaive. Wait, that's a really good one, isn't it? Yes, that's amazing, actually. That thing does insane damage. A nice horse, too. No, don't chase, don't chase. Yo, 4.5, 4.5 speed. Make it to the castle, make it to the castle. 4.6 speed, make it to the castle, please. They're sieging it, really? <laughs> they really want me, don't they? Breakout, 14 troops maybe lost? Yeah, okay. Our army still isn't even elite, man. That's the thing here. We're gonna engage this unit. Oi, sorry. We gotta test out this new glaive as well. I know this thing does insane damage when you're using it as two-handed. Yeah, look at that. We're one-hitting everything. <laughs> oh man that's satisfying that is really satisfying and it's technically a pole arm oh my gosh dude i love this thing look at this thing one hit one hit one hit one hit it's just a massacre bro and what time it is it's time to do another execution Pull arm upgrade. Let's go for swing speed. Riding upgrade. Let's go for top speed in the party. We also got another focus point, which I'm going to put into pull arm. Nice amount of upgrades from that. Got to buy some more horses as well. Ransom all prisoners and sell everything they had. All right, sold all of that. 44k. So you got to love war, man. It's very profitable, right? Another upgrade to steward. Two daily experience to everybody in the party. Hand over your goods or die. Never seen this terrain before. That's quite interesting. Cool. More prisoners, more loot, more XP. Upgrade to tactics. Let's go for... I don't even think this matters because I'm not really going to be sending my troops in. So whatever for that one, honestly. Yeah, we're going to be raiding their villages. Another upgrade to roguery. Very nice. Let's go for two-faced. We also are gaining a quite a bit of influence, ain't we? Let's make our own army. I'm going to try to defend Mizia here. Got to wait for everybody to get into the military, though. Army of 400 troops. The Northern Empire has declared war on us. We're at war with three people. Oh, it looks like they're fighting now. Nice. Let's wait a second and... All right, let's engage now. Pretty major fight we got here. Killing some troops already. Oh my gosh, 50 damage, bro. I'm not trying to die yet. Nice amounts of green I'm seeing. Yeah, I was a bit too aggressive with that. Let's say that. Nice amounts of green, boy. Our party has completely just collapsed. We won. Upgrade to polearm. Let's go combat movement speed with polearms. Or wait, no, hard knock. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just won our first massive fight. Peace with the Crusades. And we get tribute. Okay, sure. 350. All right, let's go. Assault the siege camp attack instantly. Come on. They got that circle formation. They know what's up, don't they? What? 
<laughs> Look at all that damage. Oh my gosh. It's all one, two. It's so bad. I eventually they're gonna die if we just do a hundred laps around them, right? That our army just straight charges directly into the center of them. We've just gotten taken out again. Okay, we win this one as well. All right. The eliteness is coming. I can I can see it. Another massive fight. We just won. 30 upgrades. Very good. Upgrade to riding. That's the only one we can do. And definitely want to do ammunition. Time for an execution. Two executions, actually. There goes that guy, and there goes this guy. 20k from selling all of those goodies that we got. From this episode has wielded us an absolute massive amount of traits. Oh, we're being chased. Ooh. I guess we'll see. Upgrade social again, and we're gonna put an upgrade into steward. I'm still not ready to engage them. Wait, I want you to chase me. Where are you going? There you go. They're not paying attention to us. I mean, they're not engaging. But should we do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's actually be strategic about this as well. Calvary, follow me me all right are they gonna go for us actually let's see let's move our infantry forward a bit more we have insane terrain advantage oh my gosh i need to draw them out i need them to come to me that's what i want their leader is most likely gonna be in that stack right there so that's what we're gonna go for feels nice to have some extra javelins charge all right let's back out now hold up Got one of them. There's another one. Are they chasing us? Follow me. Build a flag bearer. Oh my gosh, can I not die here? This is not good. Trying to take out their cavalry. Whoa, bro. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Yep, yep, yep. Let's take out their left flank here. I'm shrinking their numbers better than they are shrinking ours, right? Let's get my infantry to move over here. The same with my archers. Charge. F Come on, boys. Please win this one. We did it. We did it. Holy. Took them down. Can we now say that we have an elite army? Execution time, right? Another charm. Let's go for... Young and respectful. Most lords are males, so that's just better for overall improving relations. Yeah, we've been to that stage in the series where it's kind of just going to be kill everything inside. So what else can we do right now? We do have near folly we can accomplish. That usually just gets finished with time. So have we redeemed ourselves from the start of this video? Honestly, we kind of have. I feel like we kind of have. Yeah, the Southern Empire is kind of getting ganged up on. We're being attacked by the Northern and Western Empire right now. Another part of the hand. We've killed so many hand members. What the heck? Hidden hand. We've literally almost wiped this clan off the face of the earth. 93 soldiers. We have some cataphracts. We got some legionaries. 98 versus 93. We want to go for it. Let's go for it. Maybe we won't die this time, right? <laughs> Calvary is like medieval tanks. It really is. That is what I'm talking about. There we go. 52 upgrades as well. Leadership. Let's go for more renown gain. Riding. Let's go for mountain melee damage since we have a lot of cataphracts. I'd say we have completed the task of this video. Upgrade to steward. Stiff upper lip. Oh wait, we captured that person. That's right. You know what that means. Another one. Let's attack this guy. 44 to 5 loss ratio. Elite army? I'd say so. Yep, we've done it, boys. We've done it. We're no longer losing fights. Instead, we're winning them. Is that another upgrade? Let's go for pole arm. And we almost have 100k by the end of it, which is crazy. So, this, this was a pretty good episode. Don't mind that beginning part. I, I'd say we've redeemed ourselves, yeah. Anyway, he's gonna go ahead and execute this guy real quick. Next episode is tier 3 clan. This is like officially the middle game. We've officially got past the early game and we're now entering the middle game, which is just a bunch of fighting and increasing your renown and stuff. The dang Kuzates, you better believe we're gonna hold a grudge. The Kuzates in this timeline will be considered the Ottoman Empire. That's how it's gonna line up. So they took us prisoner. Now they're gonna pay. Next episode, tier 3 clan and some more fighting, of course. And we'll see what else happens that episode. So, thank you all for stopping by for another episode. I appreciate you guys for watching. And if it is daytime for you, have a wonderful day. And if it's nighttime, keep one eye open because Dracula is coming. So, peace out, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.